Welcome to the Azure Data Explorer Network Parameter Security Update. My name is Henning and I'm truly excited to talk about a new feature which we just released. It's Subnet Delegation for Azure Data Explorer. Of course, we're going to have a quick demo as well. So what is Subnet Delegation? Subnet Delegation enables you to designate a specific subnet for an Azure Pass service of your choice that needs to be injected into your virtual network. When you delegate a subnet to Azure Data Explorer, you allow the service to establish some basic network configuration rules for that subnet, which help ADX to operate in a stable manner. As a result, ADX adds a set of network intent policies, which are required for the service to work properly. In the past, you had to create all of those input and output network security group rules yourself. And every time we had to change some of the IPs, you had to change them as well. We are happy that those days are gone. Let's dive into a little demo. The goal of this demo is to create the infrastructure necessary for ADX uh, to be injected into a virtual network. So we're going to create the virtual network, um, the NSG, network security group, the route table. We're going to have a look at them, how they look like before we do the inject uh, injection and afterwards. Um, yeah, let's, let's start. So uh, I created an empty resource group here and now I'm just going to add uh, all of the necessary resources. I'm starting with the network security group. Let's click create here and subnet delegation dx nsg net delegation would like to have it in the same resource in the same region as the rest of my resources. Let's create it. We'll be ready in a couple of seconds. See it's done. Let's go to the resource. You see there's nothing in there. Now just leave it as it is. So those are just the default uh, NSG rules uh, which come with every uh, network security group. Let's go to the resource group level. You see it's here. I'm going to add now the route table. In West Europe, the X route table delegation. Okay, this one is done as well. See, it's an empty one, nothing is specified, so we're all good. Now we have um, the network security group and we have the uh, route table in the same uh, resource group. See here it popped up as well. Now I'm going to create uh, the virtual network. In West Europe, the IP addresses are fine. Default subnet is fine as well. Let's create it. Okay, it's done. Now the only thing which is left to do is go to the subnets. We have now here our default subnet. Uh, I just need to configure it with the um, with the proper NSG, which is this one. We created this one. Uh, the route table is the is this one. So this, those are the, the two which we just created. Now the most important thing is to click on 
um, the subnet you would like to uh, that you would like to dedicate your service uh, the Kusto cluster to this subnet so we've chosen how to do this we just hit save and now we have the default uh, route table the default uh, network security group um, in place and we also have the subnet delegation uh, for microsoft.kusto slash clusters in place now the last thing which we need to do is we need to create an Azure Data Explorer cluster. Yay! Azure Data Explorer cluster, click create. Just give it some random name. Pick the right region. Of course, I would like to have the performance update. The, the SKU, uh, the virtual machine size is pretty irrelevant. So I'm just picking the smallest one here, uh, at least for my case. Uh, yen, yes, then I would like to inject into a virtual network. I'm picking the new VNet, which we created, ADX VNet. The subnet is the default one. Now I need to create a public IP address for the engine and pip in subnet delegation resource group. This should be done very quickly. Quickly. Doing the same thing for the data ingest. Okay, and that's it. Just to recap, what we did now is we created all of the necessary infrastructure, so the virtual network. Uh, the default route table, the default uh, network security group, we delegated the subnet to Microsoft.Custo clusters, and now we are creating the Azure Data Explorer cluster. Deployment is in progress, and this will now take approximately five to 10 minutes, and then we will see the result. Okay, we're done. The cluster has been deployed. Um, we can take a look at it, see it's successful. Let's take a look at uh, which subnet it has been using. Yes, that the default one, which we configured. We see also that it consumed the IP addresses for the scale sets and for the load balancer. We can now take a look at how uh, this affected the subnet delegation uh, NSG. And we see that uh, in the indicated by those signs that uh, those kinds of rules have been created because of the subnet delegation. Um, and what you can also see here is that, for example, those kinds of IP addresses or IP address ranges, um, before the subnet delegation, you would have needed to create it, all of them uh, yourself. And uh, this was like a really, really error prone process. Uh, having subnet delegation in place makes uh, your and our life much easier, um, providing a proper service uh, to you. That's it so far from, uh, from our site. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your time. It was a pleasure. And uh, yeah, looking forward to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.